This story, a man alive without a heart. Is it even possible? Modern technology is making this a reality for people waiting for a transplant. And now thanks to a new device, patients can go home, be completely mobile, and go about their business. How specialist Denise Dorr brings us one man's incredible story. Very incredible. We just kept saying gee whiz when we were talking to him. Doctors have put artificial hearts in patients hundreds of times, but traditionally the patient is still tethered to a huge machine and can't move around. But now a portable device at UCLA is making it possible for the hospital to have its first patient without a human heart go home. 35-year-old Chad Washington usually wears his heart on his sleeve, but these days he carries it in his backpack. This is my heart. This is part of it, and the rest is in here. In October, UCLA surgeons removed Chad's heart. It was actually a donor organ he received back in February. My body ended up rejecting the heart. Chad was born with a congenital heart condition that destroyed his first heart. When his donor heart failed, doctors needed a way to keep him alive until another one becomes available. So Chad became the first UCLA patient to receive the Syncardia Temporary Total Artificial Heart. You always balance the risk of what's the alternative. And the alternative for patients like this would be to die. Dr. Murray Kwan's job was to remove his diseased heart and install the mechanical one. We take out most of the ventricles, which are the lower chambers of the heart, and uh, leave just a rim of tissue that we can then sew this device onto. These tubes run from his chest to this air compressor. Blood flows at 120 beats per minute. The portable batteries can last for two hours before Chad needs to plug in. It makes him fully mobile. People go hiking and running and jogging. And all hearts involve electricity and plumbing. Plumbing to get the blood pumping. And electricity to contract the muscle to get the contraction. In Chad's case, his electrical system has been removed. So if you hooked him up to an EKG, all you'd see is a flat line. We tell them very explicitly if anything happens, this is not something you can shock a heart out of a rhythm because there is no rhythm. But doctors say what this technology proves is you can take the heart out of the man, but not the man out of the heart. He still has that heart. It's that's as much in his mind. Chad's grateful it's keeping him around for his four-year-old son, who thinks the ticking sound is kind of neat. He likes it. He thinks it's cool, but he still thinks his toys are cooler. <laughs> Hard to impress a kid. Well, Chad was supposed to go home today, but doctors wanted to keep him on IV blood thinners for just one more day. The head of UCLA's cardiothoracic surgery program says he thinks the FDA will soon approve the device for long-term use.